my name is Miss Sweet, and welcome to Miss Sweet's Crafting Therapy. Um, this is just a little intro video I wanted to do, um, just so you can get to know me a little bit. Um, I guess the first thing you'll ask is, Miss Sweet, my real name. It is. Um, that is my real surname. And yes, I was teased a lot growing up. Um, what my channel is about is um, basically crafting. Um, my two main items I'm working on now are diamond painting and adult coloring. So there will be videos like that. Um, I also want to do other crafting things. I am not a master at any of this um, and I don't uh, like complex um, crafts. So anything I do um, should be easy for you or, or children to do. Um, how often will I post? Uh, I, I don't know if I can commit it to that right now. I am still working full time. And uh, although I will be retiring in January 2022, which I can't wait. Um, I've been working for the same place for 35 years and I'm done. I want to stop. <laughs> um, so hopefully then I'll have more time to dedicate to this. But I wanted to start now. Um, I've been scared to do this. Um, I actually set up the channel in January and just haven't posted anything. And then um, today I just finally said, you know what? I, I just, just got to do this. Get on there. Get it over with. And start getting over this fear. Um, so here I am. Um, another item that I will um, put information out there about is um, something kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, and especially come um, uh, August of every year, um, I will be putting up um, information about um, accidental overdoses. In uh, August of 2018, I lost my son Christopher to an accidental overdose. And it was a fentanyl overdose. Chris had his demons and he had his issues with uh, pain kill painkillers. And um, he bought some from somebody. We think we know who it is. Um, and they, and what he didn't know is that it was laced with fentanyl. Um, there is a fentanyl pandemic in this country. Um, and everybody, a lot of kids are getting involved in this and they didn't even mean to. Um, so I, I don't want to be any more heavier than, I, that was pretty heavy and I understand that. Um, but I, I want to bring it back up, but um, there will be information that I will put out there. Um, more as educational because a lot of us are moms or grandmas or, or dads or grandpas or aunts, uncles. Um, and a lot of you aren't aware of this going on. If you don't, if it hasn't happened to you or somebody you know, you don't know. And I, I want to also use this channel to bring awareness, um, you know, so you know. Um, I have some stories I'll share um, of other parents and what happened to their children. Um, and, uh, and some information about what fentanyl is and and um, what it does. Okay, enough of that because I'm about to cry. Um, back up a little bit, diamond painting. I did my uh, first diamond painting in May of 2018. Um, I was gifted a kit. Um, my good friend uh, Vicki and I had been seeing these ads coming across our feed and Facebook about what is this, you know, we talked to each other, well, what is this? Have you seen this before? Have you done it before? And I'm like, no. Um, so we broke down, <coughs> she broke down and she bought a couple of kits and she gift me, gifted me one. 
Um, it was the rainbow unicorn in a square diamonds. Now I'll insert a picture um, here of it. Um, so square diamonds was my very first diamond painting. I didn't know any better. I didn't know anything about it. So I just did it. And um, I guess for that, I don't have a fear of di uh, square diamonds. Um, sometimes I almost prefer them now over round diamonds. I know I'm strange. What can I say? Goes with the strange name. So uh, I what I did buy a couple more kits after that. I completed a couple more things, um, and then I was on a hiatus, which is kind of understandable. I uh, uh, there was almost a year period I didn't do anything, and that was uh, behind losing my son. Um, then I picked back up again when the pandemic hit. I had a couple of kits I had not even done. I'm still hanging out in my craft area. So I pulled them out and I started working on them. And what I didn't know was what an explosion this, um, this craft had made. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, I, you know, I didn't know at that time I was buying some kits off of Amazon. I found AliExpress. I got a couple off of there. I think I even got a couple off of Wish. And I was like, I don't like this. They're, they're horrible. Um, and it was then I had started to get into YouTube at that point, watching YouTube. And at that time, and I still am, I do like watching um, uh, dumpster divers and uh, storage units, um, resellers. Um, so I was watching them one day and I thought, you know, I, there's got to be something about diamond painting uh, on YouTube. Well, let me give it a look. So I did. And boy, did I find people and channels. Um, I'm not much of a commenter. I have been on quite a few channels and I um, subscribe to quite a, a few. A few, yeah. Maybe more than a few. Um, uh, so I, I've been uh, stalking, I guess they call it. Um, but I've learned a lot since I found these channels. I've found a lot of other companies like Diamond Art Club and Craftably and Crafties and, and Fan Sales and GBFKE and I don't know, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. And yeah, because I was introduced to all these companies, I was introduced to buying more diamond paintings. So, I do have a stash. And um, since the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, I have, to this point, accumulated about 100 paintings. I know that's not a lot for some people. Some people have a lot more than that. Um, but that's a lot, I think. I've had to buy extra storage bins just to storage, to keep my drills for these paintings I haven't gotten to yet. Yeah, it's a sickness I have. Oh, well. But I'll take this sickness over any other type of sickness. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's where we're at. I am currently working on a Diamond Art Club handle in. Um, a Savior is Born. Um, and how did I wind up working on that one? Well, because I wound up with so many paintings. And then I was having anxiety over, well, which painting do I do next? There's this little app, and I learned this app from, um, what is it, uh, Four Kids at uh, 417, I think it's Rebecca. Um, she does this little app uh, called Tiny Decisions, and she does have a video on it, and if you want me to do a video or show you where it is or how it, you know, it's done, leave a comment, you know, down, down there. And, uh, and I'll gladly do it, but I read, you know, Rebecca does have um, something in a, in a couple of videos. She talks about this uh, app called Tiny Decisions. Basically, it's just a, you make it what you want it to be. <clears throat> and so I've made some categories. I do catalog my uh, paintings now. Um, they're assigned a, a special number. I do keep a log. 
And that number is what I load into the tiny decision. And I think I broke it down to 30 by 30, 30 by 40, 40 by 30. And then I think I did uh, up to 50. And then anything over 50 centimeters um, is in its own category. So like four categories. And my goal is to have um, only you know, two things going at once. Um, and uh, one diamond, one large and a small. And I consider anything a 30 by 30 and under because I do have um, other little kits like, you know, the purses they have and the stickers and the keychains. I, I still do like all those and I use them for decoration. But anyway, so I consider that all small stuff and they're loaded into my 30 by 30. So one in one is like what I like to have. So this way I have a break from the, the large painting to do something small when I feel I can't do that anymore. And, you know, I can get something small done. Um, what else? Uh, coloring, I, that began, uh, began a while ago. Um, again, my good friend Nikki gave me, um, as a gift, coloring book. And uh, I did have a couple at that time and I did it on and off here and there. And um, do the other things in my life, um, my anxiety ramped up and uh, I was looking as, I mean, as we're talking, my hands are going and I'm kind of wringing my hands. And this is my anxiety. Um, anyway, um, I got back into adult coloring and boy, do, again, when I do something, I do something. And um, yeah, I've been on a buying spree of coloring books and, 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 and materials to color with and oh God, oh, I don't know. So uh, I am gonna do some adult coloring. As a matter of fact, there's two videos that I am gonna be posting up after this. Um, one is a, what I'm gonna call the off the canvas crafts. Um, it's dealing with diamond painting and something I did with <coughs> some stickers. It's a little craft project with them. And then I, uh, through my Instagram account, I was contacted by um, a coloring book company to uh, do a review for them. So I will be doing um, a flip through and a review uh, video for that. And then I think I have um, a diamond painting I wanna show. Uh, I've already opened it cause I've had it, um, but I haven't seen anybody else show this particular canvas. Um, and it is with a, a, a newer uh, company that's come on. Um, and that's all I'm gonna say. Um, so those are my next, you know, three videos. Um, how, again, how often am I going to post? I, I don't know. So, um, make sure you, you hit that bell that's down there as well as, as the subscribe button. Um, this way you're notified when I do upload a new video. Um, right now I'm not going to hold myself to any set schedule. I think that would put some undue pressure on me right now that I don't need. And, um, I'm just getting started and I want to, get the feel and see how I'm going to work this into my life before I can say, oh, this is going to be my schedule. And plus I'm very close to retirement. And when I retire, I will have a little more time on my hands to, to do more videos. So anyway, I think I've made this long enough. Um, you're probably sick of hearing me talk. Um, hopefully I'll do some like color and chats or, um, or diamond painting chats. And, you know, I, I can maybe do some of those tags where I can answer some questions that you may have about me. Um, or any questions you may have about me, you can always add in the comments down below. And um, I'm going to close with that. Um, so thank you very much for listening to me ramble. And uh, thank you for stopping by. And I really do hope that you will come back and join me. And uh, let's have some fun. Um, so you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all really soon. Take care now. Bye. Bye.